Well, I've used Biosorb uh, for the last year and a half now, and I'm very excited about it because for a long time I've been thinking about what I could put in there, even testicular implants and things like that I've looked into. So this is excellent. Uh, this is an excellent combination where you can get that bulk and that space filling and the clips to identify the area that you're working in and fill out the tissue a little bit and so that you don't, the tissue rearrangement is not so huge as it would be with some of the oncoplastic techniques. So that's great. But the person who loves it the best is my radiation oncologist. He was so excited the first time I sent one, one to him. He said, I can see perfectly where I wanna go. He absolutely loves it. He can decrease the amount of radiation, which all patients should love because it decreases the complications, decreases the shrinkage of the breast. It's really a wonderful technique. And of course, 90% of those patients who are gonna recur, are recur around the site. So he can get the exact place where we know most recurrences occur. The other thing is it's great for the radiologist, the mammographer, because he, again, 90% of the recurrences occur right around the site, so he knows exactly where that site was. Uh, Biosorb is an addition to oncoplastic surgery because when I remove a breast, for example, uh, the other day I did a patient where we did a central lumpectomy. Those are always hard. Uh, to make look good. They sink in the middle, they flatten out. I added a biosorb in there also to give a little fuller uh, expansion and projection of the breast and it's uh, made a perfect projection. And uh, because there's no longer a nipple there on a central mastectomy, the radiologist doesn't have any landmark to say where my uh, lesion was. Uh, and so the biosorb uh, directs where the radiation oncologist should go.